Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Sea Crane CC Radio Solar. This is an AM FM NOAA weather alert emergency portable radio. You can buy this for $99.99 from ccrane.com and also soon from amazon.com. I have links down below for you guys. If you're in the market for a premium solar radio, look no further than this one, or this should be on your top three list. Let me tell you, it's that good of a radio. I've been waiting a year to get this, and I'm very excited about this radio. Tuning it, enjoying it, just an absolute treat of a radio. So let's look at it. Um, this box actually is a premium box. Reminds me of the Skywave SSBs. Uh, they upgraded that. Nice. CC Radio Solar. Got a picture of the radio. I got some bullet points there. Some more bullet points here, which we'll try to cover. There you go. Includes some items. And more bullet points here. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Yeah, awesome radio, guys. I am absolutely enjoying this. Um, so I'm excited. Here is the instruction manual. A little quick start guide, I guess. Let's get some cables and stuff. And the radio comes in a plastic bag. There it is. Looking nice. All right. And an empty box there. Set that aside. First things first, we'll look at some accessories. Uh, we get carry strap, uh, patch cable, because it has auxiliary in on this radio, and a USB to micro USB charging cable. There you go. Cool. Uh, here we have the quick start guide. Do this first. Uh, you get a one-year warranty, by the way, with this radio. Um, all the radios, I believe, are one year. Gotta love that. All right. Next, we have the instruction manual. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. It's kind of uh, hard to read. You can actually download this manual on their website. So I won't spend a lot of time here. I'll just kind of flip it rather quickly. And that way, if I miss something, um, you can pause and read for posterity's sake. I'm just gonna kind of move it back and forth. I'm sure we can get it covered. Um, yeah, there's a lot of information here. Hopefully this is coming into focus. Yeah, I love this radio for the fact that it runs a double A's and an 18650. I'll talk to you about that. Yeah. Display, a lot going on. Stereo, yeah. Loving the FM stereo. We'll talk about FM stereo too. Um, just amazing radio that's all about conservation of power. Um, I love it. There's some more just illustrations. I'm showing you button combinations because there's a lot of button combinations to this radio. I will tell you that uh, not intuitive, but there is a little cheat sheet uh, in the back of the battery compartment, which I'll also show you in case uh, you don't like reading manuals. It has that little bit of information. That's pretty much all you need, but I'll pretty much go over most of these features here. I just figured I'd flip this manual a few pages here. There's quite a bit in this manual. As you can tell, like I said, download it, read it offline. It's probably your best bet. Um, yeah, this has high power mode. We're going to talk about that. When I first opened this up and started started the radio right away, I'm like, it sounds rather tinny and not much bass to the speaker. And I was like, wait a minute. It looks like it could be better. And it, then they go into high power mode and it gets really good. <laughs> you know, I'll demonstrate that. I believe we're almost through here. Hopefully you're getting this. Another thing I remember looking at is the solar. Um, I was... Uh, putting it under the light and I was trying to get the battery charger to indicate that it was charging and there was a question in here <laughs> and it says it doesn't flash just so no it is charging even though it's not showing you it is and then here we got specifications I'll zoom in on that there's your frequency ranges it has an expanded FM band when you go to 9 kilohertz nice there's power source okay uh, looks like the output of the solar panel is 110 milliamps and then the dynamo is 300 to 500 so that gives you the idea. There you go. You got low power mode. Shows you what it consumes power-wise in high power mode. Uh, gives you more loudness and speaker audio improvement. Definitely. And some more information there. Okay, cool. And I believe that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the radio. Yeah, here it is, front and center. 
All right, got the bag here. The exciting times. Okay, this side. So let's go over dimensions, and we'll do a little size comparison. So this radio's dimensions: six inches in length. We are three inches in width. We have a depth of two and a half inches. It includes the dynamo crank. A large solar panel, as you can see on top there. Pretty neat. Uh, so let's do a size comparison. We're going to do the obvious one first. Let me see how high I can get this here. Can I get the whole radio? Yes, I can. So on my bench, I have another emergency radio you guys will recognize. The Sanjin MMR88. Uh, so yeah, there it is. These are great premium radios. Last I looked, this was $59 on Amazon. And again, this can get this for $99. So there's a $40 difference. Do you have $40 more in premium value? Yes. A hundred percent. For me, I, this is a no-brainer. I picked the CC. Just telling you right away, comparing them, these two radios. This is a fantastic radio too, by the way. It's just, this offers quite a bit more for the money. Uh, so the extra 40 bucks is well spent on this radio. Trust me on that. And we'll go over those reasons. But yeah, size comparison. They're about similar size. But uh, you can see oversized solar panel. Loving that. Um, definitely because it's using a bigger battery. This uses a tiny little battery. Not sure if you guys know, the MMR88 uses a little tiny 18350, and you'll get to see the bigger battery in this radio in a little bit. Okay, next we have, um, which I think is kind of cool, is the CC Pocket, because it looks and resembles a little bit. You got the five preset buttons, similar here. You got the up and down tuning, looks rather similar, but that's where it pretty much stops. <laughs> uh, this radio does so much more, but this gives you an idea. Um, and this radio here's like a $65 radio. Um, so it's kind of like, this is a CC Pocket amped up. <laughs> this actually has a bigger AM antenna in there too, by the way. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and zoom this down. And last but not least, we have a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves sea crane radios designed in California land. He's Iron Man. Sing it with me. <laughs> there you go. Cool. I was like using deck of cards as illustration purposes. All right. So there we are. So let's talk about features of the C-Crane CC Radio Solar. There's a ton of them. I will turn this radio on and we will do some scanning of the bands, but uh, there's gonna be a lot of talking involved. So um, you can always fast forward if you want. Let's go ahead and show you features. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll notice this radio is built with uh, kind of a high gloss plastic with a rubber edged bumper all the, all the way around. I like that. They say this is UV uh, resistant and crack resistant. That's nice. C-Crane kind of uh, embellished there hook for that lanyard strap you saw. And there's our little flashlight. You turn it on with a switch up here, a glow-in-the-dark switch, by the way. Oh, I have a lockdown. So <laughs> if you look at the radio, it has a little lock symbol. Press and hold the band and power buttons to unlock. There we go. It locks the flashlight, that's cool. So we can turn the flashlight on. And I would gather this is about a 40, 50 lumen flashlight, maybe 60, seems pretty good spot-wise. Um, they say not to use that too much because it consumes quite a bit more power than the radio, and that makes sense. Pretty neat. From the radio, we have a two inch speaker. Uh, great sound, uh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> it's not tinny sounding like a CC Pocket. People sometimes complain about that. Absolutely has great audio. It has a similar design element there, like the Skywave SSB in the pocket, with the way it's cut out. This is kind of like a rubber treatment here. Over here with the LCD display, um, you'll see the clock, a uh, 12 hour clock. Right now it's 10.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm near Chicago, Illinois. We've got a battery life indicator when the power is off to the radio. Over here, we have up and down and tuning. And these, as you can tell, they're kind of clicky buttons. They're not soft, um, which I don't mind, actually. I feel that's more going to be more durable. Um, so it's tuning up, tuning down. Um, so step up, step down. You can seek forward, seek down. You can also hold the button down while you're on the band to quickly scan through the frequencies. I like that. That's actually really nice. Down here we have five preset buttons. Uh, this radio uh, has a total of 25 presets for AM and 25 presets for FM. It uses a page mode, so you have five pages of five presets, and I'll show you how to access those. Uh, that's neat. These also act as function keys. When the radio is off, one sets the clock, two sets the alarm, three turns the beep on and off, confirmation beep, which I tend to not like, so I turn mine off. Four is interesting. Uh, when the power's off, press and hold this and you can, uh, C will appear. That means when you're listening to the radio, it'll default to the clock um, after a little bit. After you change the frequency, it goes right back to the clock. So people like that. Uh, but if you want it to 
uh, show frequency all the time. Hold this down until it shows F, and that means frequency. So when you tune the frequency, it stays on the frequency display instead of going into the clock. I like that. Thank you, C-Crane, for having that feature. <laughs> and number five here, switches 9K to 10 kilohertz for a medium wave, and it also lets you, uh, when you're on 9 kilohertz, it automatically goes to the expanded FM band, 76 to 108 megahertz. Loving that too. On the side here, we have a volume control, which is nice, smooth analog. It's got a thumb wheel, uh, really nice. It's smooth, liking that. Okay, here on the right side, we have a jacket, kind of water resistant. Open that up, you'll notice quite a few things. Auxiliary in. If you plug in like an MP3 player or your phone, a note that this radio will go into high power mode. I'll explain how that works in a little bit. And high power mode, like I said, it uses more power for the radio. Um, it's good for FM music, um, great for auxiliary and devices, but when you're on the AM band, you won't need the high power mode. If you're just listening to talk radio, just leave it on low power mode, you'll be fine. Here we have the micro USB input. Um, you can get an optional USB adapter they sell. Here's a CC solar adapter. What this is, it's a little switching power supply with a long cable on it. It's a 5 volts, 1 amp. Um, this is nice to use because this radio is designed to have this plugged in all the time. So you can run this radio without using the battery, have this hooked up to it, and make it your normal radio, and have the alert always set so it's already always looking for an alert to come through. And you can listen to FM and no weather, no problem. On the AM band, though, you will pick up some buzzing from the adapter, and they recommend unplugging the adapter if you're going to listen to AM radio. But uh, nice thing to have. I think it's like 15 bucks. Uh, but uh, you can hook up to a USB uh, port also. But I like having this because it's dedicated. All right, I'll show you it real quick. Going back to those ports, um, yeah, there's a little switch behind there. It says lithium and AA, so it chooses the battery type you're going to be using. You're going to use the uh, lithium ion battery that's supplied with this radio, or you can switch over to the AA operation, which is three AA's you can put in the radio. Here we have a phone charger. Uh, I tested this. It uh, outputs five volts at one amp, and it says to initiate the charge sequence to press and hold the light button two seconds. Oh, with me, I just plugged in my device and started charging, so I didn't have to do that. So maybe it's a different firmware, uh, but mine just automatically went. But if yours doesn't automatically start, press and hold that button for two seconds and it should. Down here we have the headphone jack, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you like headphone listening, this radio is amazing. Uh, it's an FM stereo jack, by the way, and let's talk about the headphone experience I had. There's no low-level hiss. Um, that's amazing. Uh, the only gripe I have about this is when you switch bands with the band select, AM, FM, and weather, you will hear a click on your headphones, and it might be rather loud depending on your headphones. Mine is rather loud. And also when I seek tune, when I browse and it stops on a station, it makes a little click or a pop. Um, kind of annoying, but when you're using just incremental tuning, it does not do that. And when you just do preset tuning, it doesn't do that. So that's typically what I'm doing. I'm doing incremental tuning or in preset tuning, and I don't have that issue at all. What makes this sweet is the FM stereo sounds amazing. Excellent lows, excellent mids, excellent highs. When it's on FM mono and there's no stereo coming through, it has decent lows, decent mids, and the highs are a bit weak. That's normal with FM stereo. AM expect nice mids, great for talk radio. So there you are. But yeah, awesome. Loving the headphone experience, except for that little bit of clicking. Maybe they'll address that in the future. But uh, not a deal breaker for sure. Top of the radio, we have more going on. We have the band select, AM, FM, NOAA weather. Press and hold this, uh, and it'll go into alert mode. You can listen to the radio while the alert mode is active, and it gives you options of 4, uh, 8, and 16 hours of alert before it turns off. Over here, we have the uh, power. Turn the power on and off on the radio and sleep function. And over here, we have our glow-in-the-dark. I don't know if it'll, it won't show us here, but glow-in-the-dark light button. Turns the light on and off. As you can see, turn that on, too. Our large solar panel, our antenna, which is 25 inches, amazing on FM. We're going to talk about the FM reception. On the back here, yeah, we're spending a lot of time, but it's a lot to this radio. Dynamo crank, okay, pretty simple. It's got a nice little knurled uh, peanut shape type thing. That's nice. So you got a grip point in the middle of it. So no problem spinning that up to 120 RPM or more. And then back behind here is the battery compartment. If we get this open, there we are. Okay, so on the door is the cheat sheet. In case you forgot some of those things I told you, boom, there it is. Mostly all there. 
Uh, there's our spot for three AA batteries, as you can see orientation. And it ships with an 18650 protected button top cell that is replaceable. And this is a 3400 milliamp hour capacity. It gives you a 50 hour runtime on low power mode and 35 hour runtime on high power mode. Also same with if you're running three AA batteries, exact same times. So there you go. Extra power running low power. All right, so there's that. Um, so we're gonna have to turn the radio on. And I'm gonna do an audio demonstration. I have a C-Crane FM transmitter too, transmitting royalty-free music from a connected Sony MP3 player. And I had 2.9 megahertz going to this radio. All right, let's go ahead and turn this up. Louder. High power mode. Gives you a basic idea. Sounding good. Turn off the high power mode. Now we're in low power mode. As you can see, I'm on alert. And what it does is it uh, flashes that screen, uh, letting you know you're on alert. And I forgot to mention there is an always on feature, which makes sense because if you're plugged in, um, you, always, you don't want it to turn off after 16 hours. So yeah, always on, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn alert off. There we go. So it's great you can do that. So as you can see here on the FM band, we have our frequency, the band we're on, the page function we're on, and their signal strength indicator. See that there? And I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my transmitter. And you can switch presets by hitting these buttons. So yeah, we'll do an FM band scan. So let's do that real quick. Now, before I get started with the FM band scan, FM reception report, everybody wants to hear that. FM sensitivity was very good to excellent. That's four and a half stars out of five. It found 84 stations, which was absolutely amazing. Um, when an average analog FM radio such as this here picks up about 40, 42 stations in my area, this thing just absolutely smashes on FM. Love it. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. FM selectivity was very good. So yeah, this radio is one of the top FM performers I've had in-house. So uh, let's go ahead, uh, show you the tuning, press and hold, and go all the way down really quickly to the bottom of the band. We'll do a quick FM band scan. As far as medium wave, I'll show you some of the options you have there. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the bottom there. 
Okay. I'll extend the antenna. Hopefully not hit anything. It does pivot 360 degrees, which is nice. So I think I can lay this down. That'll be nice. Here we go. So we'll just seek tune. See what it finds. Today, go to echoes.org. Find out more about the Echoes CD of the Month Club. The playlist for yeah, an FM. I use the high power mode. It sounds good. Of these recordings, that is also at echoes.org. And if you're not convinced, we're gonna do it all over again in the next hour. Jeff Town is the. And this is one of the ways we can say thanks. Enter to and check out our weekly Spotify playlist. I'm your host and executive producer. downstairs so I'm not picking up all the stations I did when I was upstairs but uh, it's doing fairly well welcome back to Ask Hasselis hello I'm here a new video game or a golf club or a blender It's also the work which Brahms wrote just after breaking up with the only woman. New Music Club. The mix plays today's new music. Welcome. So amazing. And say hello to more new music. Oh my gosh, hello. On 101.9 The Mix. Miss, I'll never let you down. Votes went mostly along party lines. And Ms. Velasquez will vote yes on H. Res Enroll in a new ACA marketplace. Okay, there you go. Quick little FM band scan. Okay, let's go to the no weather alert. So here we are. Diminishing to gales to 35 knots. Interesting thing is you have five presets for your seven channels. It actually is fairly useful. Uh, they don't mention that, but uh, it is a feature. West winds to 30 knots becoming northwest. I was able to pick up six of the seven stations. Absolutely amazing. Uh, well above average reception. It's tops on reception. Eight feet. Friday. Northwest waves four to seven feet occasionally to nine. Channel one. Wednesday. I did get something upstairs to channel four. 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Thursday night. Clear in. And what you do is you pick your strongest station, minus five. Six feet occasionally to eight feet. Sunday, you set your alert. northwest winds 10 to 20 knots, backing to south 5 to 10 knots. Waves 2 to 4 feet. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station. KXI. And you can turn the radio off. Alert's still active, which is nice. You guys can see that there. Clock showing 11.01 p.m. Okay. So, we're, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then it'll just flash here, um, telling you that you have an alert mode set. And we just press turn that off, any mode we're in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Now, where this radio shines, if, FM, of course it did. Uh, reception for NOAA weather alert, just absolutely amazing. 
Another feature is the AM band and its bandwidth filters. So we're gonna go ahead and just retract this antenna. This radio uses two antennas, the whip antenna for FM and no reception and the internal ferret antenna for the AM reception. That's an oversized one, they say, because I was comparing it. I was thinking it might just be like a CC pocket inside of this radio, but no, it's a little bit more, <laughs> a lot more. Uh, the sensitivity on the AM is amazing. So I'm gonna turn this radio on. 9 a.m. Wednesday through Wednesday. We'll go to the AM band. And we'll just tune to some stations. Here's CHLO, Brampton, Ontario. Um, yeah, this is a good distance here. Um, I'm gonna have full band scans for you guys, so trust me, I've already filmed a few, and uh, yeah, I got some stations. I got Cuba with this radio. Um, I got <laughs> uh, Watra Saskatchewan. Yeah, just amazing. Right now we're picking up Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles. Right here is, is CBK, Watra Saskatchewan, which is a thousand miles. So we're just gonna go pick some presets. These are locals, 670 to score. We can see if there's something on WFAN. After the injuries. So this is uh, New York, New York, 750 miles, home of the Yankees. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, give you an idea. Press 1 and 3. Oops. 1 and 3. 4 kilohertz bandwidth. 6. And 2.5. 2.5 is good for most talk radio. In the and four and six is good for music. But let you down. Now this they station 660 is close to 670. If you want to get away from it, you can you do one kilohertz tuning, which is one and four. That did not show up. Now we're in one kilohertz mode. The did not show up. And here is a game where you literally have eight players. The majority of them, or half of them, rookies. So that's a neat way, and you can put it back. There we go. Now you can turn that backlight off. So I can actually tune the radio without a backlight. There's WSM Nashville, Tennessee. Coming in a little rough, but not bad. Change their schedule. Here's WOR, New York, New York. Now let's check the forecast from the WGN Chicago Weather Center. Temperatures Local. That's why the lady is... Zoomer Radio, 740, always sounding good. CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. So this thing picks them all up. I'm Channel 2 News Meteorologist Brad Nitz. Weather is most accurate and WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. The 320 page WABC. And according to the ethics board, Cuomo's request that they have to put in writing to get approval for this project, state employees, which was submitted in July of 2020. According to the request for a medication, we so we'll go up to some uh, stations that are distant. Here's a 50 KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Playing an intro to a show, I'm guessing, because it is uh, top of the hour. So it's coming in nice and clear, by the way. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Denis Forti, on a fait dans. It's an AFC game, and we got to come ready to go, and that's why this this week of preparation. WWL coming in like a local too, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Love it. Let's see what they do. And oh yeah, by the way, the opposite city here is Mayor Elect Eric Adams. It is a non-invasive. WCBS, New York, New York. New York is that this is a serious moment. Our fellow citizens. 
press and hold and you can go all the way to the top of the band. That's what we're going to do. And then we'll close it out here. Uh, let's see what's up on the top. I think 1610 has some cool music. Um, exactly. So you want to give me WCKY's. those guys and take those guys with the A's are 50, the A's are 49. Iowa. There you go. You get an idea. This is CHHA Toronto. But uh, just absolutely amazing. You get the three bandwidth choices. Um, 6 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 2.5 kilohertz. You got the 1 kilohertz tuning. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is just amazing. And it does have a larger internal antenna. It seems to outperform my pocket. It's kind of like a Skywave. Maybe even better than a Skywave. Yeah. It sounds good too. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And there it is. The C Crane CC Radio Solar. Um, there's a quiet to it. I might have missed a couple things in there. Um, yeah, with power consumption, you want to always have it on low power mode. Um, keep it there to get the extra 20 hours. It comes with the included battery, which is great. They do say there's replacements on their website. I haven't seen it yet, so they're probably waiting to put that up there. Um, but eventually they'll have that. Or you can put any type of protected to, uh, button top cell in there as a replacement, but don't expect to change that soon because they're using a high quality uh, 3400 cell in there, probably a Panasonic cell, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, not a bad radio. I love it. So final thoughts on this radio. If you're in the market and you're looking to spend some money, uh, this is worth every bit of the hundred dollars you're going to spend. Um, I cannot fault that except for that one little glitch on the headphone jack where it makes a little popping sound when you're seeking and when you're changing bands. That's it. Everything else about this radio is absolutely fantastic. Um, just, I love it. Every bit of it. So there it is. CC Radio Solar. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, it's a little mini review. Big review. It's pretty in-depth. <laughs> you big like if you did. Two, if you like Sea Crane products and you want to see more, hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Get notified. Um, I got two more band scans coming up. I found some amazing, amazing stations, uh, stations I never found before with this radio. Yeah, it is absolutely wonderful radio to have. And third, of course, comment below what we think about the CC Radio Solar. Are you in the market for a premium uh, weather alert radio such as this, an emergency radio that operates on double A's as well as an 18650? That just blows my mind. And the 18650 is replaceable. Um, just absolutely perfect. And that oversized solar panel is useful. Um, it's not like a miniature one that doesn't do any good. This actually will. <laughs> so there it is. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video.